J.D. Wicker, San Diego State's Athletic Director, once again with us on the Cannons. J.D., as always, great to have you. And let's start with everything about this decision. What went into it, and how did the group decide that this was the right time to start, that second-to-last weekend in October? Well, first, thanks for uh, having me on. Excited to be back on with you guys and excited to have Mountain West Conference football uh, teed back up. I, really, honestly, it was the, the testing uh, and the opportunities that have really come you know, out and have become available in the last month or two where there's really antigen tests that uh, are sensitive enough to really that people feel comfortable that we can utilize those. Uh, and so between a combination of antigen tests and PCR testing, uh, we feel like we can safely get our student athletes back out on the field for practice and to play. So that's really what ultimately led to the decision. All right, J.D., so I, I assume they will be playing at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Uh, is this, now that it's going to be a full schedule, is there any opportunity for fans to be there, or are these going to be games that are going to be played at an empty Dignity Health Sports Park? You know, right now it's, it doesn't look like fans currently. Uh, we'll see how we continue to progress through the fall and, you know, how things are in L.A. County uh, and what Dignity Health is able to do. Obviously, the L.A. Galaxy play there, and the Galaxy would really love to, to get to a point where they can have fans. So I know Dignity Health has a very good plan uh, developed and put in place, and so we'll be able to follow that lead if they're able to put fans, but right now there won't be fans to start with. Okay, and then the reason I ask that, if there were no fans, then is it necessary to play there? In other words, would there be an option to play games in San Diego if essentially all you need is a field to play the games? Well, I mean, you, you need more than a field, or we would like more than a field as we start thinking about TV partners, uh, making sure that we're giving our student athletes the, you know, the football experience as close as they would, you know, be able to get it. You think about the Padres playing at home; they're still running the video board, they're still doing all the graphics, uh, all those different elements. We still want to be able to do that for our student athletes, and obviously, upgraded video board, LED boards, all of those elements there. And then the other piece is they have a COVID-19 protocol in place. Uh, they've obviously had the opportunity to uh, utilize it, fine tune it. So that's a that's something that we look at as a significant bonus for us is that we're going to a place that they've been doing this and they know what they're doing. JD Wicker joining us right now on the Loose Cannons Extra 1360. So JD, when do you expect to see the 2020 schedule? And do you expect the opponents that were initially on the schedule in the league to remain the same, or would you expect changes based on everything that's going on? You know, at this point, we really need to get a schedule put together, you know, early next week because we've got to go out and get charters. We've got to start booking hotels. Uh, that whole travel piece is going to be challenging. So we need as much time as we possibly can. And I don't anticipate uh, any changes to the um, teams that we had scheduled. Uh, but we've got an um, athletic director meeting on Monday, and that's going to be – uh, probably topic number one is getting that schedule built. Mount West Conference will start their schedule on October 24th. What do you know about the bowl games right now, J.D.? Because uh, we talked about, you know, is there still going to be like a New Year's Six opportunity for one of the group of five conferences if you have a, a perfect schedule? Eight, no, are you in line? Do we have any update on how the bowl games will play out? You know, my understanding is right now is the plan is to, you know, play bowl games as you're able to play bowl games. Uh, as we've seen throughout all of this, the situation is certainly fluid. And uh, we'll see. But, yeah, our goal is that, you know, win another conference championship, put ourselves in position to access a New Year's Day bowl game. And if that doesn't happen, then we'll see what opportunities might still be available through – uh, Mountain West Conference Bowl partners. I know there's been discussions and people are still trying to figure out, you know, if you can't have fans and there's, you know, that loss of revenue for a bowl game, can they still do it? I know the Holiday Bowl still plans to, you know, host their bowl game. So I think you'll see a mix of both. I think you'll see some bowl games happen. I think you'll see some that won't happen. J.D., do you expect every team in the conference to start the weekend of October 24th or, or are there still challenges in certain parts of this country that could prohibit 
everyone from starting at the same time? I, I think that remains to be seen. Obviously, we in San Diego with our um, our partners on campus, our trainers and team doctors, and then the county to progress, continue progressing through our phases to get to the point where we can, you know, have a real football practice uh, and then be able to play as well. And obviously, you know, San Jose State and Fresno and Hawaii may have more significant challenges ramping up than some of the other schools in the league. But everyone's goal is to get to October 24th uh, and be able to kick off that weekend. I think as we progress over the next couple of weeks, we'll know a lot more about, you know, whether everyone's actually going to be able to do that or not. All right, so we're excited to have fall football, and with the MAC approving a six-game season, six games, is that really a season? Anyway, um, we're going to have fall football across the board. What's the update on basketball right now? What do we know about the upcoming basketball season? Well, we're going to tip November 25th. That's what the NCAA has uh, said is the official start date. Um, so excited to get that going. I know Matt Soria, our director of basketball operations, has been working uh, hard on putting together a non-conference schedule uh, just because everything's been you know, thrown up in the air. You lost the first two weeks of the season, uh, so we've lost those games. And then trying to figure out uh, the Diamond Head is moving to Orlando as part of an ESPN bubble, it looks like. So, you know, do we want to go there and play that game, that tournament, or will there be different games that we play there? So lots of moving parts, but I do know this. Basketball season is going to start November 25th, and we're excited to uh, get that going as well. J.D., I want to get back to football for a moment because I was reading online, and I don't know if this is accurate or not, but there could be a couple of non-conference games involving Mountain West schools. I think I saw Boise State and BYU may have the opportunity to play I know Air Force is scheduled to play those commander-in-chief games potentially this year that could impact their Mountain West opponents. Um, will San Diego State solely play conference games, and do you believe that other teams uh, might step outside of the Mountain West? Is that, is that a possibility that's realistic? I mean, I think right now we'll play our eight conference games, and yes, Air Force presents that unique challenge of having that Army game on November 7th, and you know, Boise had BYU scheduled at home this year, so that would, you know, potentially work for them in that slot. And then I think it, you know, it, it just we'll see how it goes. Could it be, you know, one of those situations where, you know, a team on a Sunday after a game tests and figures out they're not going to be able to play the next weekend and, you know, say it's, you know, one of our opponents. Hmm. And are we willing to go out and find a non-conference opponent? Will the conference allow that to happen? I think that, you know, that just remains to be seen. But right now, uh, the plan is to play our eight conference games and, you know, play for a conference championship. All right. Well, I have some really good news for you, J.D., because Rich Armberger so excited with the news that he'll return to the announcer's booth that he actually got his first haircut in six months. I mean, it was <laughs> getting – I mean, it was getting bad, really bad, J.D., and he looks clean. He's ready to represent the university the way San Diego State should be represented. So I just want to assure you that you will have a very presentable Rich Ornberger on the broadcast once the games begin. So is that, is that passively, aggressively telling me that I need a haircut, too? Yeah, because did you I know that, Steve? Have you months? seen J.D.? I didn't want <laughs> to say funny. a word. Everybody <laughs> has to make up their own mind right now. See, i got to do that TV. I've been getting haircuts every month, so, uh, you know, a little uh, sleight of hand. But that's okay. If you want to go with the, uh, you know, how long is the hair now? you like Willie Nelson or what's going on? <laughs> it's it's getting pretty long. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's I if, if I cleaned up the sides, I'd have a mullet for sure. <laughs> <laughs> JD, last question before we let you go: Are, are we expecting? I think when we we heard from you about Carson, you were expecting maybe Saturday games or primarily Saturday games. But with everything going on, the return of football, are you expecting Saturday games, or could we see some games moved because of television to Thursdays or Fridays or, or other days of the week? Well, you know, one of the, the challenges is with Dignity Health, you know, with this quick turnaround is, um, you know, locking in some dates. So there may be a weeknight game thrown in just because that's a date that's available up there. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for Saturday games and, you know, that we'll be able to figure out how to allow a few folks in the building, you know, especially players, parents and things like that. But 
Uh, we'll wait to see what the schedule holds in the next, hopefully, uh, next week, and then our TV partners will start picking games pretty quick. It's all good, including the possibility of J.D. getting a haircut. All good <laughs> news today from the esteemed athletic director at San Diego State. J.D., it's always a pleasure. We could not be more excited. Neither can we. I, I went down and talked to Brady a little while ago. They're thrilled to get back on the, the practice field knowing that they've got a goal in sight. And uh, we're excited to play. You know, we're picked to win the, the West Division. So we're ready to go out and, you know, carry on that, uh, that long tradition of win, win championship number 22. J.D., thank you as always. Have a good weekend. We'll catch up soon. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Go Astros.